Hello everyone. Many F1 students were arrested in US uh, for University of Farmington uh, Day 1 CPT fraud case, and majority of them were Indians. Yeah. So quickly, if you look at it, uh, there are about dozen, you know, few dozen students that were arrested uh, by ICE officials uh, regarding this immigration fraud, and majority of them were Indian students. Uh, one of the key reasons, uh, you know, they were arrested was because they were all trapped, uh, you know, using, you know, using the fake school that was um, created by federal agents. Uh, essentially, the the school was completely fake. Uh, it was created, uh, you know, late. Uh, in 2015 to 17 time frame you know and it was basically created uh, to you know to, to identify all the fraudulent uh, uh, people doing the immigration scam especially the recruiting agents and all the stuff so there was no classes there was nothing no curriculum whatsoever and federal agents were running this uh, school essentially in a small uh, you know in a small building basically right and it was uh, categorized as a pay to stay scheme you know the oral immigration thing so the total impact of the immigration fraud uh, with this university of farmington in michigan is about uh, 600 students are impacted and you know there were uh, they reported about 100 students were arrested you know overall in across uh, various locations uh, but uh, you know uh, that's the number of students uh, that will be impacted by this and there are about eight admission agents as well which is part of the overall uh, arrest uh, scheme right and they arrested in multiple cities houston you know charlotte north carolina st louis missouri tampa uh, many of the many other cities right so this is a complete undercover operation that was done and that was uh, that happened right uh, so basically if you look at the the impact uh, you know overall in the last couple of years um, these admission agents uh, raked about 250,000 US dollars, about quarter million in commissions and kickbacks. So I, I was reading court documents, and you know it says that uh, they visited even the the, the school, which was the fake school, and they collected checks from there and the multiple phone calls. So all of this was actually presented, executed in connection with court, right? So so basically, you know, on on uh, Jan 15th, the federal agent submitted the documents to the court with all the proofs and everything, and it has all the all the communication that uh, that was done with them. You know, uh, you know, basically about the, all the agents and how they're working, so who are working fake transcripts and everything. And then, you know, this was submitted, and the indictment was, uh, you know, was uh, was given for these eight uh, agents and students. Uh, overall, I mean, th this is this is uh, uh, this is actually the court uh, indictment that was, uh, you know, a screenshot of what was actually, you know, um, against. Uh, these guys and it's a conspiracy to commit the visa fraud uh, to harbor aliens uh, for profit right and uh, it says that about at least 600 foreign citizens are illegally remain and they work here on this on this thing yeah so it's actually a significant thing and you know we have seen some of these things in the past uh, uh, basically, right? Uh, you know, uh, the similar one done in New Jersey, where uh, they were actually, you know, uh, did a similar operation. And uh, the other universities, uh, it was different, Tri Valley University and all. But overall, this is um, this is not new. But the, the the size of the arrest is pretty big here. Now, the impact for the students is pretty significant. You know, whoever have been part of this, uh, you know, are considered, uh, uh, you know, they're involved in immigration fraud, and you know, they will very likely go to removal proceedings, and you know, they'll be deported. So, so you know, it's pretty significant actually if you were to be part of that. So and some of these students were actually doing the second masters and they were considering that you know they could do day one CPT and all of this but but it's all fraud right I mean imagine you're going to a school without going to classes and uh, taking this so it's a pay to stay scheme it's a big red flag right uh, so H1 F1 visa is given for students to stay in the US but if you're if you're not doing that then you know something terribly wrong right so it's basically you know that it was it was crime so uh, and again you know one of the one of the things that will impact many of these students is you know the August 9 unlawful presence memo that kicks in and uh, you know if they stay beyond if February 5th there'll be bar uh, from entering US for three years on any visa whatsoever so you know it's it's uh, now the the thing that they can do is you know talk to a qualified immigration attorney and basically seek advice and uh, you know plan to leave before February 5th uh, I don't know the implications what they could have in the airports and all sorts of things but again this is this is something that you need to really if you're part of this uh, immigration uh, fraud scheme uh, unfortunately you know you you need to really talk to an immigration attorney and uh, plan for uh, departure by February 5th uh, you know so but again you know overall guys you know you should never engage in something that's illegal uh, you know knowingly this is like a you know, it's like a proper fraud right you know you you're signing up for school for f1 visa and you're not going to school i mean like so this is completely wrong so never ever engage in anything that is illegal you know it will get you in trouble and you know all your dreams will be killed so if you don't get selected in lottery don't mind you know just come back you know the, always something good might come up and you can always go there yeah so again thank you for watching and we'll keep posting more updates on this uh, subscribe for updates uh, thank you so much for watching again